the manager. I did want to talk to you about the manager. He, he's obviously been in here. He's talked about it's been a long week, I think, for yeah. him. Sort of, you know, in fact, he was approached by a Premier League club and he's turned it down because he thinks he's got a project here mm -hmm. that he's just started on. What sort of message does that send out to you and the rest of the players to hear him sort of say things like, I've brought people here, I don't want to be the first one to leave the ship? I think just especially for us as a group, it's just a big message saying that listen I'm not going to leave you behind and it's I think it's a very unselfish act because ultimately most of the boys want to play Premier League one day every manager wants to be in the Premier League it's the best league in the world and um, I think for different reasons there was enough reason for, for, for Mick Beal to actually take the job and he turned it down it's, it would have been a massive opportunity for him um, and I think as I said he's very special um, and I think it will go a long way because he's showing everybody like there's more to it than just my own personal story and um, yeah hopefully that will have an happy end at the end of the season. Well, it's, it's quite an even division isn't it at the top yeah. so there's no, there's no guarantees but do you think no. it might just that act and what's happened this week might even drag an extra 10% out of the players? For, for me personally it was like today we have to, we have to step up for him. Um, and just turn up and make sure that we say thank you in a way. Um, we managed to do so, not in the most fancy way, but we, we managed to do it. Um, and that, yeah, it's, as I said, it's, it's um, I, don't, I don't think that's something to, to be taken for granted as a player, that a manager who can go to the Premier League from the, champ from the championship, that he turns it down. Um, and I think it's a big sign for us as a group. Just final one for me. Um, uh, getting getting the goal. I mean, you don't get too many. I remember you getting a good one for Brighton against Crystal Palace. Once, yeah, that was so. sweet. Yeah, that was sweet, very sweet. But uh, well, how you took it well today? Yeah, I mean, um, I think last year up in, in in Scotland, I I got a bit of a taste for it. A few headers in the Europa League. Um, to be fair, I had some contractors at home yesterday, and they said you have to score. They didn't know at the point that it was the centre half, and then. They said, "Listen, if I'm gonna, if you're gonna score, I'm gonna watch. Probably gonna, what is it? Pour my pint over my friends." Um, H, our uh, assistant manager, said to me as well before the match to me and Jake uh, Clark Salter that we do one. So I said, "Right, let's let's see that we're gonna sort you." And I'm happy that it worked out. Happy for myself. Family's been in the stadium today. My my girlfriend and uh, school from a uh, friend from primary school that I haven't seen in probably 25 years, so perfect day for me. Hi, um, hey. What was it like going into that game on Wednesday night against Cardiff? Obviously, all the speculation around the manager, was it quite a strange thing? Did he make it quite clear that it was just focus on the game and then obviously it came out the next day that it turned it down? Like, how was that going into the game? Um, I think I remember that a few of us, um, Albert Aldoma and, and a few others, because the boys were a bit nervous, and you, because you can't just shut these things out and shut them down, so it was a bit of talk in a group. But I think we reacted really well. We needed to react from the from the game on the weekend before against Luton, and um, I think once we stepped on the pitch, we were just like, okay, let's just play our game, you know. And um, that was it really. So the happier we were when Mick came in on Thursday morning and said, "Boys, I'm not going anywhere." No, he did. He, well, he said, I think he said something like we seduced him <laughs> with the performance. <laughs> so we've done our bits to to convince him. But I, as I said before, I think he's got great integrity and he's got great values. And he just, um, yeah, supported that with that act. Really, he underlined it or underscored it. So he's been top of the league when the uh, offer came in. Probably helped a little bit. Probably, but I think he said it himself that he feels like he's got something good here, like a project going on, and. Um, yeah, I think he's he's somebody who wants to be successful. He's driven by success and to achieve great things. And um, what greater thing would it be if we can continue that journey that we're on at the moment? I suppose they were obviously very pleased as well because you've got a bit of an extra thing to it. You know, obviously you worked with him before and yeah. brought you into the club. So from your perspective, I suppose you're really pleased. I mean, for me, that was one of the main reasons to sign. Um, apart from being able or privileged enough to live in London, which is great, I think for many reasons. Um, the club has great history and as I said, Mick is just, I think he's a really, really um, great manager. And just working with him, his, his habits, his standards that he's got is just, you can't say really, you can't say no if you've been there with him before. Mick said when he was in here, um, 
before you came in that he was kind of flabbergasted that he managed to get you in because obviously it was quite a while that he had to wait. I mean, like, what was the summer like for you? Was it like a case of being patient or did you have quite a few offers of just waiting for the right one sort of thing? Was it, was, it was long. It was very long. Um, I've been in a similar situation 2014, but coming off of an injury and not having had to, like, I didn't play too many games before, so back in Germany, that was, and they were like, oh, it's probably going to get tough or going to be hard for him to get back up. But I was much more relaxed than I was last summer, um, obviously having achieved a few things by then. So it was just waiting really for the for the right thing to come through. There's been a few talks, but nothing that really excited. But also loads of clubs, they were just like trying to get a few and then turning me down again. So it was a long summer. Stayed up in Glasgow this whole time, just tried to stay fit, not to lose my lose my mind. But it was very, very challenging, I can't lie. So when QPR really had a go at me, I was just like, right, let's get this over the line. Let me reunite with Mick and see that we're going to be as successful as possible. So it was a bit surprising from you, obviously, I know maybe you don't dig yourself up too much, but it's obviously you, know, you had a great game out there today, and obviously you're very capable of doing really well at this level, but something didn't come along sooner, and obviously QPR luckily got the chance to sign you. Well, that's the game. Now, nowadays, they, they see a certain number, which is the age, and they are like, nah. That's, so that's what I had to deal with loads in the beginning. Um, which also made it even more challenging because obviously I know what I'm still capable of. Um, so then it was just a matter of who is out there, who believes in it. Um, that's obviously why Wigan was interested. They knew me from before. Mick knows me really well, knows how to manage me as well. And yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy to be here.